Adversary in the middle attacks are becoming a big deal, especially in Microsoft 365. Here's how they work. They sidestep defenses like MFA by hijacking browser sessions using sneaky tools like reverse proxies. Think Evil Jinx 2, Modlishka, or Morena. They're tough to spot because they mimic real logins and use legit tokens to blend right in. Once attackers are inside, they don't rely on malware. They live off the land. They exploit legitimate Microsoft tools, making detection difficult and often bypassing endpoint defenses entirely. Hi, my name is Faith Stratton, and I've been a SOC analyst at Huntress for two years. I'm the point of contact for the SOC on Microsoft 365 matters. To set the stage, for adversary in the middle attacks, let's first look at user authentication. When an end user signs into an online account, they get session tokens that are stored in their browser. These tokens hold the user's authentication data, replacing individual login sessions. While this makes account access easier for users, it opens the door for threat actors to compromise environments on a large scale. An adversary in the middle attack occurs when a hacker secretly gets in the middle of the connection between you and the website, app, or service you're using, stealing information without you even knowing it. Token theft is a common adversary in the middle tactic in which threat actors steal session tokens to authenticate as the original user. Here's how it starts. The threat actor sets up a transparent proxy, using a tool called Evil Jinx in this case, between the user and the website they are trying to connect with. The threat actor sends a phishing email with a clickable link to a login page. There's usually a sense of urgency in the message, so the victim feels they need to resolve the issue quickly. The login page appears as expected, but if you look closely, the URL is not the same as the original. This login page is actually being controlled by the attacker's transparent proxy. Everything seems normal to the end user, so the user shares their username and password. Their credentials pass through the attacker-controlled proxy in plain text on the way to the legitimate login portal. The threat actor now has the username and password to the account. The login portal then prompts the user with an MFA prompt since it received the credentials, despite going through the attacker's proxy. The MFA request passes through the attacker-controlled server to the user. The user provides the MFA code from their authenticator app because nothing seems off. The attacker-controlled proxy forwards the MFA code to the legitimate login portal, just like it did with the username and password. Here's where the threat actor steals the session tokens. The login portal sends the session token and refresh token to the user's browser, which passes straight through the attacker's proxy. The threat actor can now authenticate as the original user without a username, password, or MFA, because a session token is a full set of credentials wrapped up into one package. By injecting the stolen token into their own browser, the threat actor now has full access to the end user's account. From here, Threat actors can register rogue OAuth applications for persistence, use legitimate tools to blend in, and impersonate trusted users to do internal reconnaissance, lateral movement, and data exfiltration. The threat actor's end goal with adversary in the middle attacks can vary, but a few examples are business email compromise, ransomware, extortion, and financial fraud. So to sum this up, Adversary in the middle attacks are when a threat actor strategically places themselves between the sender and receiver of data to steal sensitive data like session tokens. This gives threat actors stealthy and persistent access without dropping malware, paving the way for the full attack path.